Hello, everybody. I'm Bill Mischel from the uh, University of Illinois Library, the Granger Engineering Library. I'm going to try to get us uh, sort of back on time here. Um, the presentation I'm doing is less of an overarching view of, uh, of uh, the National Data Service, uh, but more of a combination of a thought experiment and demonstration. Uh, I'm going to be talking about a specific uh, linking service uh, that we're in the process of uh, trying to put together. This is something that uh, there's been a lot of interest in. Um, uh, Ed and others have talked about this already as part of their presentation. And um, uh, I'm going to show you what uh, a couple of things that we're working on that uh, uh, try to address this issue. Uh, so d just uh, uh, summarizing, we've talked about a lot of things already this morning. This sort of summary of what some of the things Ed was talking about. Um, uh, overarching services of, of an NDS or pieces of, of uh, services that can go into uh, an overarching NDS. We talked about a recommender service. Uh, de uh, linking uh, deposit uh, negotiator. The thing I'm going to speak about here now is the uh, last point, the linking service between um, uh, DOIs. There are, actually, there's a kind of a debate going on now about uh, digital object identifiers. doesn't mean the same thing as it used to mean. Um, uh, typically, article uh, DOIs are assigned by Crossref or put into Crossref by publishers. Uh, Crossref is a publisher consortium. Uh, there is a data site consortium for data DOIs. Uh, one of the points of contention has been, though, that there are a lot of things in data site that aren't that aren't pointing to data, but in fact are pointing to technical reports and uh, and uh, uh, other textual uh, content. Uh, very clearly, there's a need for this infrastructure to provide these uh, these data linking services. Uh, we live in this world of multiple distributed. Uh, repositories, we've got disciplinary repositories, uh, federal repositories, institutional repositories. We haven't talked much about that uh, this morning at, at, up to this point, but uh, a lot of researchers that have uh, done data management plans for NSF grants have indicated they're going to deposit data or process data into institutional repositories. Um, there isn't any nice way to link those right now. There are a number of services that are, that are attempting to harvest information from institutional repositories. Uh, we also, when we talk about search and discovery, um, very often we talk about uh, major A&I services. Demonstration I'm going to do here, or the project I'm talking about, uses, uses Elsevier Scopus. Scopus covers about 26,000 journals, has 50 million articles, although Hilge Brown can probably uh, update that. Uh, it is a major ANI service that covers all areas of science, uh, um, engineering, uh, biosciences, medical sciences, social sciences. Uh, so what we've been talking about in a number of different settings, both this morning and in other venues, is this data to literature and literature to data uh, bidirectional link resolution mechanisms. Uh, a little picture here of uh, of the discipline and institutional repositories on the top. Um, the centerpiece and the lower box is sort of our link resolver um, uh, uh, attempt, or our attempt to generate a link resolver that connects data site DOIs and uh, Crossref DOIs. Um, we actually started this project uh, when we realized we couldn't just search Crossref to generate or to, to, to uh, locate DOIs. Uh, we have a project we call Journal and Article Locator, and so now we're actually searching data site and Crossref, and we've begun building this uh, uh, handles type server to link those DOIs. And then eventually, something this is a service that would have an API and could be used by publishers uh, or by service providers. Uh, test case, a test example I'm going to show here is high energy physics. We work with a faculty member at uh, Illinois. His name is Doug Beck. He has data sets both in disciplinary or, or in disciplinary repositories. Uh, he's got an institutional repositories uh, and uh, also federal uh, agency repositories. He publishes in multiple professional society and commercial uh, publisher journals. So he, he, his world sort of looks like this. At the top, um, he's st saving data in, in a uh, repository called HEP Data, High Energy Physics Data at the University of Durham. There's a particle data group that, which also uh, provides access to uh, high energy physics data. Uh, he stores for a specific project at, at a repository 
at Harvard. That gets moved into what's the, the Ideals Institutional Repository. This is the University of Illinois Institutional Repository. And there's also a CERN Midwestern Center that has a, a lot of data, high energy physics. Uh, the the uh, service that we're looking at is trying to link uh, publication data with all of those repositories. And, and we're using it for technology, Crossref, ORCID, on the bottom share, uh, chorus, and data site. So the test case I'm going to show you here is that someone does an author search in Scopus. Uh, they find uh, uh, articles by Doug Beck. Um, and what we've, we use Scopus because we, uh, we, we nicely understand the, the APIs in Scopus. Uh, this could be any other major ANI service. Uh, we put in these sort of mocked up uh, uh, data links, which take you to a landing page with specific data links. So I don't know how well you can see this. Um, the the mock-up here is a scope of search for Doug Beck retrieved 62 articles. Uh, if you look at uh, the short entry record for uh, the first article, you'll see a link that goes out to our institutional repository. I'm sorry, goes out to our local link resolver. Uh, also, uh, view at publisher, and then what's called a national. There's a national data service links. A user who would be clicking on that would go into a uh, handle server and presentation page that would provide links to multiple data sets at multiple locations. So the example here in this case is a, a, a link to uh, HEP data, um, a, a link to the uh, particle data group page, and then also a link to our institutional repository. And these would all be generated from a, a lookup on the fly in, uh, into this handle server that links data site DOIs and uh, uh, Crossref DOIs. So this is a service that, uh, in fact, we are working on. is something that could be made available to, to uh, partners and to inter interested institutions, and moreover, to interested publishers. Uh, this is really an idea that's come out of the uh, publisher community. Okay.